Hey, what's up online? What's up online community? And thanks for stopping by checking out another Saving the Straight No Chance. Now, first off, I've got to say that um, I know I've been gone for some time. Um, I want to give a, a, a shout out and a, a special warm felt thank you to everybody that's messaged me, that's reached out, um, that has stopped by to check on me and my health and my well being. As you can see, I'm back, I'm black, and I'm stronger than ever. Um, last time I was on online on the on the airways, um, I didn't have the facial hair. Look, I even grew the goatee back because I was walking around looking like Ken Brown with the uh, <laughs> with, with the slippery with the with the slippery slippery criminal right. face, no facial hair. Um, but I even grew the goatee back. So you know, shout out to everybody that checked in on me. You know, checked in on my health. I'm feeling great. I'm doing great. I'm, I'm energized. I'm enthused. I'm ready to talk some sports. I'm ready to get down with my man Ken. I know that because of the hiatus, I've been gone for a month. Um, this, this, this segment, I wanted to kind of take it back to the roots and that is talking to, you know, one of my guys who's there, A1 from day one, helping me build this platform, talking sports and culture, uh, Kim Brown. So first off, Kim Brown, thanks for uh, jumping on Straight No Chaser. Hey brother, thanks for uh, having me back, man. It's been too long. I'm glad to see, man, you're doing well. Uh, we definitely missed the segments, man. So glad to have you back once again, man, so we can, we can jump into it and, and, and get it popping. Man, you know how we do. So before we get into it, people at home, if you're watching, grab your favorite libation. Today we're talking sports and we're going to get into a straight note chaser. Salute. Mm, yes, sir. So I want to shift things away from football. I want to move on to basketball, not basketball, but I want to talk about something. Um, and I'm sure one of our one of our most loyal followers, Dennis Sibbett, is going to love this. I want to talk about the Kobe effect on the LA sports teams. Now, the LA Dodgers just clinched their, just won their seventh World Series. The LA Lakers just won their 17th NBA title. 17 plus seven is 24. Mm. Guess what Guess what jersey number Kobe Bryant wore in his latter years? Right, 24. Number 24. Right. I call it the Kobe effect. Mm. Here's why I say people should be looking at the, at the, the Rams as far as being a Super Bowl contender. Not only are they a good team, they've got creative play calling, they've got a solid defense, they've got great players at key positions. They got Aaron Donald on the line. They've got, excuse me, Leonard Floyd, who's stepping up and linebacker. Mm -hmm. They got Jalen Ramsey as a shutdown corner. Yes, they've, got, they've got players at key positions on defense. The offense can put up points. But also, let's talk about the Kobe effect with the Rams. Mm. The Rams have one title, and that's the year 2000. If they were to win a title this year, 2020, mm. that would be their second title. Guess who wore number two? Gigi Bryant. <laughs> Gigi Bryant, wow. Think wow, about that. I didn't know she wore that number. Think wow. about that. Gigi Bryant and her her, her jersey number is retired in, in uh, Staples uh, under the Lakers. Gigi Bryant won number two. If I was a betting man, I would be betting on the St. Louis Rams because not only their offense, their play calling, their coaching, but you got to take it to a, you got to take into consideration the Kobe Bryant effect, the Gigi effect. You know, the, the Dodgers, they just won their seventh. Lakers won their 17th. 17 and seven is 24. Right. The Rams have one Super Bowl title in their, in their, uh, in their history in the year 2000. And if they win this year, it will be their second, which will be the number two. And Gigi Bryant wore number two. It doesn't get any more storybook, more fairy tale than this. You're right. <laughs> Did you think about that? Um, I haven't. I haven't thought about that as, as deep as far as the numbers. Um, but when I look at the Rams, man, they've got a shot. I mean, like you said, defensively they're loaded. Um, offensively, they can score. Um, you know, they're they're battle tested over the years. Um, it's just going to be interesting to see if they can remain consistent and tight as they get into the playoffs, man. So, um, barring any type of major injuries. Um, they've got a shot to get to, to get to the Super Bowl and possibly win it. Definitely. Now I'm not going OG call, but I'm willing to bet one eyebrow. <laughs> That's because the numbers and, and and the Kobe Bryant and the and the GG Bryant um, and the LA effect is is still in play. Right. You know, I'm willing to bet. A, I'm willing to bet one eyebrow, not both of them. Right. <laughs> I'm, going all the time, I'm willing to go out there and just you know risk it out there. Let me ask you, from what you've seen, who are some other Super Bowl contenders um, out the NFC or the AFC? It's hard for me to say right now, man. It's, it's, 
you know, besides the Rams, um, you know, that guy Brady down in, in, in Tampa Bay, man, you, you can't rule him out, especially as they load up and get Antonio Brown down there with that receiving core, man. That could be very interesting um, come playoff time. Um, you know, I don't know, man. I don't have a, a real favorite right now, man. So, so it's hard for me to say right now. All right, so let me ask you this. What's more likely, Antonio Brown to act the fool, I say by week three that he's on the field, or another Michael Jordan video coming out with him snitching on somebody? <laughs> um, that's a good one, man. Um, <laughs> you know, I, think, <laughs> I think Antonio Brown, man, he knows this is his last shot um, as, as far as redemption, so to speak. Um, he's going to receiving core. Mike Evans is, is definitely going to be the alpha dog um, yeah. as far as that receiving core. Um, and he's just going to have to fall in line, man, and, and play his role. Um, yeah. You know, if he's in shape, if he's still got 80% of what he was, man, um, you know, he'll get in the end zone, you know, deep routes. But Mike Evans is going to be the alpha dog on there. And right now he's on a team that has a le legitimate shot to get to a Super Bowl. So I, I think he's going to be on his P's and Q's, man, and, 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 and not have any issues this season. Yeah, what I like about Bruce Arians is he's already set the benchmark for Antonio Brown coming in. You know, right. in some of the words, he said, don't come in here trying to do the boogaloo fool. Right. We need you to play your role, stay in your lane, and if not, you'll be back out on the street. Right. So I, it'd be interesting to see what, it's, what Antonio Brown's contract is looking like, you know, as far as incentives and base salary yes. and things yes. like that, because that's, right. that's generally how... Um, in the NFL, at least, players that have had challenges with off-the-field stuff, how their contracts um, are, are, are negotiated. So right. it'll be interesting to see that. Right. So as we talk